All right, Ghost Pups, it's Ghost, and this is my Let's Play of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So this will be in my usual long-form Let's Play format, so each episode is going to be an hour, hour and a half, so hopefully you enjoy all the content. It's also completely blind. I've avoided almost the spoilers, so I have no idea what to expect. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Wake up, Link. Okay, I have no idea where we are. <laughs> Certainly one of the more interesting openings to a Zelda game. Temple? Fairy fountain of some sort? All right, move. Controls. Oh, that's full controls. All right. Focus is ZL. X is jump. A is action. B is put away. All right. Jumping in a Zelda game. Huzzah. Oh, stamina wheel runs out. You'd be too tired to do certain actions till it fills up again. All right. Can I do a dodge roll? Oh, he's going for a sword. I'm like, is he reaching and messing around with his hair? <laughs> uh. right, are there any options? Let me make sure I have subtitles on for the whole thing. Don't use amiibo. Remember sensitivity normal. Aim with motion controls off. Swap jump button with cancel button. Yes, I would rather have that as B. Fix minimap to north. I... We'll see how much that annoys me. Normal, pro. Um. Okay, apparently there's no... Ability controls, okay. Oh, cool, we have an inventory, let's see. Um, there's nothing in there or anything. All right. Yeah, that's much better, having that as jump. All right. Oh, I'm so excited. I've been staying perfectly spoiler-free on this game, so I know nothing of what's going in, other than I have a flaming that stick at one point. That is a Sheikah Slate. Take okay. it. It will help guide you after your long slumber. So apparently Link was in cryo sleep of some sort. This Hyrule has a lot fancier technology than most Hyrules I've seen. Oh my god, it's a f okay, it's a switch pad. I see. Mysterious tablet with a glowing center. You've never seen this device before, and yet there's something familiar about it. Ah, oh, that's great. As he just carries it on his belt. All right, so it, what is it? L for inventory. Wait, how did I do inventory before? Oop! Hey, we got our backflip abilities back. 
Um, hold on, how am I supposed to get back into my inventory? I did it before. Plus, that's what it is, okay. Future Ghost here, quick note before we get started, I'm in editing right now. This is the first episode has a bit of a lower quality audio from my voice than usual. My capture card apparently doesn't do very well with mic audio. Um, this is only for this first episode, I fix it from episode 2 on, so please bear with the occasional crackling or popping. Clean up the audio as much as I possibly can with software, but there's still a little bit in there, so I do apologize. And once again, next episode, it's all perfect and usual standard of quality. Enjoy! Alright, so key item. Oh my gosh, I have to control temperature? Okay. So that's probably the, uh, probably armor and stuff. Oh, that's cool. <sighs> Oops. <laughs> Alright, can I? Okay. Ah, that's snap camera. Okay, good. Let's drop. How do I throw? No. Treasure chest! See? Old shirt. Thin shirt made long ago. It's coming apart at the seams, so it's better than nothing. Sleeves are a bit on the short side. Awesome. And go bare chested for a little bit. I, I like the fact that it has the option. Well worn trousers. Threadbare in spots where they're surprisingly comfortable. The legs are a bit too short, though. So maybe we were like a child Link when we were put into cryo sleep? I don't know. I think, like. So, yeah, it looks like Link has. Uh, I don't know. I, I kind of like it. I don't know if they're swim trunks or like cryo sleep clothes. We'll just run this entire Zelda game with no armor. No. <laughs> All right, let's put them both on and see what it looks like. Wow, I look terrible. Uh... All right, first step, new clothes. Any hidden secrets? Hold the Sheikah Slate up to the pedestal. Okay. That will show you the way. Tap it like an amiibo. What's an amiibo? We don't know. <laughs> Authenticating. I also love that it's like voice acted in the menu. Sheikah Slate confirmed. So I was locked in here with no way of me getting out unless I had the slate. I guess it means no one's there to, you know, interrupt my sleep. Okay. Link, you are the light. Our light. That must shine upon Hyrule once again. Now go. Also, I like how I didn't question hearing a mysterious voice. Like, who the hell was talking to me? I'm assuming it's Zelda, maybe? Or a great fairy? But, like... Yeah, that's, like, really strange. I had no idea that, uh... <laughs> it's like, I'm just... Oh, yeah, voices in my head. That's completely natural. Waking up from cryosleep? Yeah, no questions there. Thought that was a bomb section of a wall. All right, L and B to climb. Oh wow, just like straight up free climbing using stamina. Oh, that is cool. No more ladders and hook shots to get up tiny little platforms. Oh wow. Oh, that looks beautiful. Looks like some broken down walls and stuff, starting in a forest again. Oh, that is just gorgeous. That is just stunning. So we got, looks like we have the, oh, looks like a Temple of Time, a random shadowy bearded figure, maybe a sage? We will have to see. I found a stick! Dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun! 
Wooden branches that to this are pretty common, but surprising it's surprisingly well balanced. It doesn't do much damage, but can serve as a weapon in a pinch. Alright. Okay, doesn't seem to have a durability bar or anything. That's good. Oops, uh, I wanted to see what the other... Okay, inventory is the L. Oh, it's right stick over. That's how we... Okay, cool. Just gonna... Okay, so we got quick weapon switch. There's gonna be a lot of weapon usage in this game. That's quick. All right. Oh, secrets! Alien shroom. Common mushroom found near f trees around Hyrule. Eat it to restore half a heart. Oh, this takes me way back. I don't remember. It was... Was it Link's Awakening that had uh, mushrooms that you had to go find? I don't remember. Oh, that's cool that they were using, like, natural healing things. Oh, I'm very much a fan of this. Alright. So the question is, do we have... Hello, beetle. Hello. Okay, there's bug collecting in this game. Pretty much confirmed. Uh, let me quickly see. Do I have... Alright, so six mushrooms. Now, can I put that... Sort it, hold it... Stop holding, add, return to game. Uh, stop holding. Okay, so I can show things, but it doesn't seem like I have, uh, like, an item select wheel. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we have a whistle wheel. All right, and then we can change weapons with that. All right, cool. And I know I'm supposed to head towards that mysterious figure, but this is a Zelda game. I am going to be exploring every nook and cranny. Can I... Let's see, is this like a sneak... No. Let's see. Come on. Come on. You gotta get you. Nope. Okay, there must be a trick or a weapon or something that lets us get to those in time. Damn. Oh. Alright, well, at least looting is super quick. I wonder if we get to loot from enemies. Oh, that'd be cool. I just heard something that sounded like a horse. Oh my god, nice camera! I can actually look straight down things, that's great. Hello, mysterious voice. Head for the point marked on the map in your Sheikah Slate. You've received a new app update! Oop. Current map location, Shrine of Resurrection. Follow the Sheikah Slate. Does that actually give me an in-world... no. Maybe? Select. Open adventure log. From out of nowhere you hear a woman's voice speak to you. She instructs you to head to the marker displayed on the Sheikah State. Slate is both alien and somehow familiar to you. You can find it and access it map by pressing the minus button. Now does it show up in the overworld? No. Damn. So much for way waypoints and a HUD, but that's fine. I can stamp my current location. Oh, cool! So I can mark, like, hey, there's a treasure chest I need to come back to. Oh, that is cool. I like this map. 61 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, and I can apparently fast travel through this, too. What else is in there? Sheikah Slate has been damaged. Okay, great. So there's apparently other features. Do not acquire iron, so you cannot use this now. Ooh, very cool. Wait, I can just straight up climb trees? Can I get climb out on the branch? Okay, just... Okay, hold up. I know we're supposed to knock that guy, but I'm gonna go climb a tree. Now, is there a sprint? That's sword and sect shield. There's got to be, like, a heart container or something hidden up on top of this. Is that a bird? No, that's just a ledge. Does that allow me to hold on to it? 
Oh, cool. We can speed that up. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, okay, so long as we rub against the tree on the way down, we uh, don't take fall damage. Alright, there's no secrets hidden on top of these trees. Damn. That'd be my. That's where I would put my first piece of art if I was a game dev. Oh, that's so cool. I, I know I'm just going to spend hours just seeing where I can get to in this game, because basically I've heard that if you can see it, you can get there. Alright, mysterious stranger. Tell me what you know. Baked apple. Direct heat has softened its sweetness apple. It used to restore three quarters of a heart. Ooh, there's <clears> cooking. <throat> Beg your pardon, I do believe that is my baked apple. You can't just go taking <laughs> taking whatever you please. But but it's a Zelda game. I break pots, vandalize people's houses. That's how I get loot. <laughs> Forgive me, I could not resist pulling your leg. Please help yourself. An alpin on open flame make for a succulent treat. It's strange to see another patrol or another soul in these parts. Mm -hmm. Me, I'll spare you my life story. It's an old fool who's lived here alone for quite some time now. Brings a bright-eyed young man like you to a place like this. Mm -hmm. So we question with a question. That's fair enough. So not imagine our meeting to be a simple coincidence. I should tell you, this is the Great Plateau. According to legend, this is the birthplace of the entire kingdom of Hyrule. Uh-huh. That temple there. Long ago, it was the site of many sacred ceremonies. So yeah, it must be Temple of Time or whatever the equivalent is. Since the climb of the kingdom a hundred years ago, it has sat abandoned in a state of decay. So a hundred years. Ooh. Though we might have been in cryosleep for longer than that. Yet another forgotten entity, a mere ghost of its former self. Hmm. Relaxing by the fireside, of course. Oh, I need to cook up, cook myself another baked apple at some point. Simple foods such as apples are fine to eat raw, but roasting them on a fire makes them tastier and more nutritious. Do you have somewhere else to be, young one? No, not really. Um, let's see if I can cook an apple. Oh, there's regular food and cooked... Oh, materials and cooked food. Ah. And just put that on the fire. Ah! Big devil. Huzzah! Also, quick test. I am Link, Master of Fire! Ow! 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 Okay, it, it takes a second to light you on fire, but it does light you on fire. Got that. Alright, let's see how... Is there a quick way to eat food? Um... <laughs> uh. Alright, I wonder how much a cooked mushroom does. Alright, and A. I like how we just light it on fire. Toasty Hillian Shroom. Hillian Shroom toasted to perfection, tasted fragrance amplified, restoring more health to its consumer. Alright, can I cook more than one at a time? Because it looked like there was a up to five. Yes, just throw them all on the fire! Nice. You okay, old man? Didn't mean to startle you by throwing a bunch of mushrooms on, but at least that speeds things up. Now, can I hold mixed sets of things? Yes! Okay, that's great. And I'm actually going to... Let's see, let's do... Hold this. Alright, return to game. Throw these on. I'm gonna see if I can burn food next. Okay, can I burn food? Is Link a terrible cook? Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Oh, it breaks. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. Cooked another baked apple. Can I give him a take baked apple? Um. 
Oh, I can only eat. I can't... Oh, I wanted to share it, because I took his apple. Alright, well, let's eat a mushroom. That. Oh, torch! Torch stay lit once ignited. If you put it away, the flame will extinguish until you light it again. Huh? You just, just help yourself to that torch there. <laughs> and how may I ask, are you planning to use it? As a weapon to set things on fire, it's a secret. Um... I'm gonna set things on fire. Which is rather unnerving. Please be cautious with that around any dry grass that might catch fire. You know there are plenty of monsters in this area. A torch would make a good weapon if need be. <laughs> Not just swing it around without purpose. You must face your opponents and lock your sights on them. Alright, standard Z targeting. Yep. <laughs> Alright. So we should be able to go to torch. Draw the, draw the torch. Ah! And so you can put it away. Okay, so he extinguishes it. Good to know. Ha ha ha! So you can actually interact with the... Am I creating an updraft? Oh, that is cool. Okay, and the fire does not spread to the entire... Like, that's great. Like, just everything you can see is just burnt to a crisp because Link decided to play with the torch. Alright. You laughing at me, lighting things on fire? Ah, Okay. This is a test to light a campfire using another campfire. Oh, get out, get out, get out. Okay, good. So it's a little forgiving in case you uh, accidentally burn yourself. Uh, here we are. Ha ah, I lit the other campfire. Woodcutter's axe. Woodcutter's tool of choice for felling trees, formal weight, and uneven balancing make a slow, inefficient weapon. Throw the weapon? Ooh, okay. Um... Okay, that's pretty cool. Oh, shit. I'll take a free apple. Wait a second, if I go hit these other trees, do I get stuff from them? Oh, this is kind of cool. Then we probably should move along with the story. Oh shit, we can just chop it straight down. Made a log. Bundle of wood. You can use this to make a campfire if you have something to light it. Oh shit. Alright. Well, that is cool. Can we... Let's see. Um, is there a way to put the wood on a fire? Yeah, I don't want to eat it. Uh, nope, that's a throw. Okay. Now, can I just light it with a torch? Oh. Never mind. Okay, the weapon switching is going to take some getting used to. Alright, so cool. I can just harvest everything from the tree by chopping it down like that. And it looks like we could roll the logs as well before. Alright. Hello, random gecko! Come back here! No! Aww. Rubies! Nice. Alright, so can we break rocks? Uh, 
Nope. Hey. All right. Um. You can climb down. I can go for a swim. I can catch some fish. Ooh, I see a sword. Oh. Hey, Koroks. Haven't seen those guys since Wind Waker. Hey, you're not Hetsu, but you can see me. Don't, didn't know your time could see the children of the forest. Well, if you run into Hetsu, please return this to him. Korok seed. Small seed was given to you by Korok. Distinct smell. Gather a bunch of them, you never know what may happen. Me and my friends are hiding in lots of different places, too. Don't be shy about poking your nose into suspicious places. Come here, fish. Oh, I do have a limited swim timer. Ah, I shall take your sword in the stone. Rusty broadsword. Three to six. This once fearsome sword has seen better days. You can do some damage to the right hands, but also breaks quickly. All right, that's pretty cool. And you drown when you run out of stamina. Okay. I wanted to test that as well. Not intentionally, but... <laughs> Alright. That's a bombable wall. Oh, this... This game is just beautiful. Alright, good thing we made a bunch of food to eat. Now, can I eat while in the water? Yes, okay, so I don't have to care about being on land to properly eat. I can eat soggy baked apples. <laughs> Temple of Time. Oh, there's a moblin, and there's the big temple, so... Actually, is this the place where I wanted me to go, or... No. Oh, cool, I can just get up on top of everything. Nice. Can I just climb? Wow. Go Link! Look at you just free climbing everything. Like, I see a brick wall, I can climb that. It's like Spider-Man. Damn. So there's nothing up there, nothing hidden around. Just some dust. Uh, let's see, let's actually not use this. There we go. Hey, I found a steak in a barrel. Seared steak. Raw meat is cooked over an open flame. Cooking it increase the flavor and number of hearts it provides. Cool. All right, Moblin. Bring it on. Oh, it broke. Um. Okay, so weapons can break. That's sad. I really like that woodcutter's axe. All right, I'll beat you up with a tree branch. Ooh, and I'll take the club. Boku Club! We eat a club or a small prey, essentially a stick, so its durability is low. And... Bokoblin Horn! The horn of Bokoblin, creature often counted on the plains by rule, isn't edible, but it can be tossed into a stew with some critters to make an elixir. Interesting. Oh, well, that's cool looking. Oh, ancient screw! Screw used in ancient machinery. It's got... Made of an unknown material, and no matter how many times it's turned, its threads never seem to show signs of wear. Interesting. I don't know if we had, like, Hyrulean robot defenders, or what this thing is. Got some cloud cover going on? 
little bit. Oh, you're guarding a treasure chest. All right, I'll beat you with your friends club. Yeah, all right, nice combo with that. Took a hit to the head though, but we can fix that. But Goblin Fang, tooth, I knocked his tooth out. Worn down, not very sharp, but still make, it's still pretty hard. Cook it alongside a critter to make an elixir. Interesting how we're just cooking random pieces of uh, bokoblins and things, but, you know, that works. I'm going to try to keep one of each of the baked things just in case anyone wants one for a quest or a piece of heart or something. Anyone ambushing me? Alright, can I break these barrels without wasting a stick or something? No. Hmm. Alright, what do we got in here? Alien trousers, one to three. Traditional dress trousers of Hyrule, plush fabric makes these trousers quite comfortable, and their hider really makes them ideal for travelers. Well worn. Yeah. All right. We're looking less like we, you know, live out in the woods and more like we're the hero I have rule already. Oh, come on, I want to break it. Still not used to the controls. Ooh, I have my spin attack. Oh, I broke the club, but apparently there are tiers of that. All right, um, why can't I break these barrels, though? Come on. Oh god, there's a slime in there! Chew jelly, huh? Yep, choo-choo jelly! Gelatinous substance that came from choo-choo. It's unstable in the state, but applying a bit of elemental stimulation will change its form. Interesting. Okay, so the number is not how many you have, it's the damage they do. Alright, so I'm going to obviously need a lot more tree branches and things. Ah, oh, I really wish I hadn't lost that woodcutter's axe. Oh, look at that. Temple of Time. And hello, robotic guardian. Ancient Screw. Okay, Link, yeah, just, you know, climb onto random things. That's not a <laughs> risk to your health at all. Oh, that's awesome. I mean, normally, this is where a normal person would put a door. Here's some more goblins or moblins. Or what are these bow goblins? I don't remember what each form is. Oh my god, there's... You know, looking at these things going up here, I don't think these are Hyrulean protectors. These might have been like... Like Hyrule was like... Attacked by robots? Like they don't look like guardians when they're like... Dead scrambling up the hill towards the Temple of Time. Ancient gear! Despite being really old, its build quality, build quality is leaps and bounds above anything built using current technology. Alright, anything else out here to look around at? Another moblin? Alright, I'm gonna see if I can do a jump attack on him. Ah, I can't touch this. Um, I'm still not used to the weapon switch button. Hear clicking noise. Oh, all right. 
But at least we can keep getting clubs off these guys, so if we keep beating them with their own weapon, we don't have to worry about running out of them. Alright, is this where we're supposed to be going, or no? No, we're actually heading away from where we're supposed to go. Oh well. Alright, tell me these break on impact. Okay, cool. Hey, arrows! Wow, we don't even have a bow and we're already getting arrows. Nice. Opal! Valuable ore gives its measuring iridescence similar to the inside of a seashell. Seashell. Yeah. Seashell. It means the power of water. Ooh. Traveler's Bow! Small bow used by travelers for protection. Doesn't do a lot of damage. Can use to attack foes from a distance. That. Oh, that was release an arrow. Um. Scope? What? I don't know what I was supposed to do with that. It just pulled it out randomly. Okay, so you can hold... Okay, if you just put it away, then it saves the arrow. Alright. Side after I grab these quick bits of loot. Oh, I can just go inside through the wall. Ancient shaft. Machine part used in ancient machinery. Incredibly sturdy. It's not made of any recognizable material. May come in handy someday. Yeah, these guys definitely look like they were breaking down the walls of this thing. Interesting. Fairy statue with a fair ring of smaller fairy statues. Got a statue smiles smiles upon you. Got a statue smiles upon you. Do it again. Like, got a statue is tired of you being here. Go away. Uh, is there? Can I read the grave? No. How did I bring that out before? Hmm. Alright, there's a hole in the roof. I'm gonna see if I can get up there. Alright, Link, can you climb the wall. If he manages to get all the way on top of the Temple of Time in one go, I'm going to be very impressed. Damn, he's doing it. And here comes my first death as I fall to my doom. Come on, can you get over the little edge? Yes! Um, oh, is there an invisible wall? Really? Shit! Oh, no fall damage. Okay. Damn it, I wanted to see what was up there. At least I can exit through the window. Alright, so this is a really just generally somewhat well-preserved temple. Nothing looks like it's secret up there. Oops, almost jumped off the cliff. Oh! As Link climbs up the wall, he realizes there's a ladder right outside. <laughs> oh, I'm terrible at this. Here, what can we see? We're obviously meant to be up here if there was a ladder.
That looks like a giant skull of some sort. Holy crap, this game is massive. All right, we got a Lake Hillia. We got some kind of like snowy mountains and some mesas. Looks like a more forested mountain over that way. There's a uh, volcano. What was the volcano called? I don't remember in the old Zelda games. All right, I'm not just the only one seeing that. Can I zoom in? Oh, okay, you push the control stick in. There's something, like, climbing around on the volcano. Something giant and gear designed. Oh, that's probably a boss. Holy shit. Now, if I... Does that only work when I'm in zoom mode? Hold on. Oh, that's cool. Delete pin. Okay, so I can actually waypoint things. That's actually where I'm supposed to be going, but I can only see them in this mode. Can I zoom? No. I sw that was really weird. All right. Probably something up in the belfry. Aha! Secret chest. Come on! Soldier's bow! Bow designed for armed conflict. Flicks more damage than a civilian bow, but it'll still burn if it touches fire. Alright, I can switch bows using press and hold and switch. Wait, why didn't I switch bow? I'd have to draw a bow? Ah! All right, we got a better bow. That's nice, because we have limited arrows. All right, so I'm supposed to be making my way over to that mound right over there. So let's actually pin that. So if I go there, edit pins. No, edit pins is this. All right, can I put a pin down? No, it doesn't look like I can put pins down. Delete pin. Can I just place a pin? No. Oh, shit, you can zoom in and out. Oh, that's how you do it. Can I zoom in and out this way? No, that's just up and down. All right. Let's try not taking fall damage when we land. Oh! Oh, there's a secret balcony. I'm glad we went down this way. Come on, climb up, Link. We're going for some secret loot. Uh, uh, come on. Uh, Easy. All right. There's like a window. I might be able to get in there, but I don't think so. All right, it looks like I'm going to have to climb it from the inside in order to get onto that balcony. This fall will kill me. I mean, I kind of want to touch fall damage, but, like, this is a little bit much. Let's first check over this edge of the roof just to make sure there's nothing else special. Alright, I think I won't die if I land down from here, so let's see. No fall damage! Okay, cool. All right, secret balcony. Which way to get up to you? If I go up this pillar and then over. Secret treasure! Oh, he's just assassin treating it. All right. So apparently, I don't get as far as climbing... Because I climbed all the way to the roof. So slow climbing is definitely better for stamina, but I can hop up things if it's short. All right. Seriously, it's just like freaking Spider-Man. <laughs> Come on, there's got to be some treasure up here. Anything up? Oh, is it up the next floor? 
No. There's just this tower here that's totally secret, and I don't even get anything for this? Seriously? Nothing. Where the hell am I? Come on, camera. Okay, apparently I wanted to climb to the ceiling. Alright, I could drop down. Huh. Not so much for secret hidden loot. Alright, let's go to our objective. Oh, wait, wait. Oh! Do I, can I pick my arrows back up? Okay, cool. That's gonna be useful. So I don't have to be quite as careful with my limited number of arrows. Make sure I have a weapon equipped. I was thinking that I could, like, pick flowers, but... Can I pick up a rock? A small rock? No. Alright, is there anything secrety up here? Now I'm looking around for secret rooms. Nope. Really kind of sad, like, that, I was like, oh yay, I found this really cool secret the first time it, I played, but nope. No such luck. Alright, it's that hill over there is where I'm going. Ooh, but there's something shiny over here. Did I enter that ruin as well? Yeah, that was the one that didn't have anything in it. Here's something rolling around. Oh, there's some more sticks I need to probably grab. So can I push the log? Yes, I can. All right, I was wondering about that what last time when I was, uh... Huh, okay, so apparently I can only, with an axe, break wood. All right. Good to know, nice little fountain. You can go run up the hill and grab that stick real quick, because I decided to swim over to the main area. So I kind of need the stuff they were intending me to grab. Have yet to figure out the dodge rule. Oh, that's looking in through the lens. Aha! That's how you crouch. You push the stick in. All right. Someone's taking a nap. Someone's not going to wake up from their nap. Ha <laughs> ah, ha! Ah. his club go? Oh, did he not have one? Aww. Oh, wait. Tree branch. Nice. So now, can I roll? I think that's the... Oh, hello. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oop. So yeah, that's the only thing I don't have is a dodge roll. Acorn! I'll find the ground near tree squirrel's door this nut, so you may have competitional foraging. Add one to a meal for a nutty seasoning. Alright. So there are a lot of natural resources. Oh, this is so cool. Looks like they've got some seagulls. I don't remember if they're called anything specific in the Zelda universe. Can you at least just snag apples off the tree? That's awesome. Oh, looks like we have... I think those are regular moblins. Ooh, can we push the bolt? Okay. I'm going to try pushing the boulder and running over a moblin lift with it. I guess this is the tutorial for doing exactly that. Hey guys, uh, have some fun. <laughs> oh, that is the best thing. So it looks like I have to be a little bit more Dark Soulsy with combat. Oh, I could have also done this. Come on. Let's 
Seems to prefer to climb rather than roll. Wait, can we do a log roll? Oh, we couldn't ride on it. <laughs> ah, that's awesome! Alright. We've had our distractions. Let's go to the objective and get a little bit of story in. There's so many cool things and I have boulders to push on things and... Is that actually an archer? Hold on. Okay, you guys are getting killed first. Then I'll deal with the rest. So let's see. See if there's arrow drop in this world. Oh god. Okay, there is a lot of arrow drop. There's headshot critical hits. Hey, friend! Get all my arrows back. Nice. Alright, Boku Bow. Basic Boku Bow Boku Hoblin Bow made of wood. Just made, made by taking any tree branch and just a string tight gen. So don't expect much in the way of combat effectiveness. Alright, alright. Is there anything I can do to this... Like, is this something... Nope, nothing can do with a little tree. That does look like a giant skull. That's really crazy. Oh, hello, guys. Are you cooking something? All right, first... Oh, there's just arrows all over the place. All right, I'm, I'm up for free arrows. Oh, yeah, I want to see what the uh, pro HUD is. Let me see if I can get back to options. Uh... That's pro HUD mode. What's normal HUD mode look like? Oh! Oh, that is so much easier. I can't believe I had that off the whole time. Tells me how much noise I'm making, the temperature, and the mini-map. Oh yeah, that's considerably better. I was playing the hard way the whole time. I'm sorry, but those explosives... Hey guys! Okay, so apparently they're not arrow triggered explosive arrows. Beat you down. That's right. You don't know where that sound's coming from, do you, dummy? Why is that rock moving? <laughs> oh, this is just so much fun killing these guys. Seared steak. Nice. Take a bone as a weapon? I mean, sharpened bone would be pretty damn cool. Alright, doesn't seem like any impact bothers those. I'm obviously not going to be swinging melee at them. Nothing in it. All right, we'll just take this with us for a little bit and have some fun. If I can time it to an enemy's swing and throw it at them, maybe they'll blow themselves up. Hey, Mr. Goblin! Also, can I pick up items while carrying other items, or do I throw it? Okay, so it, it drops it. Mr. Goblin, you want to blow yourself up for me? Be a friend, be a pal. Hey, buddy. 
Why don't you come come over here, huh? Yeah, I'm a threat. Come on. Come on, give me a wind-up. Alright, we'll just dance around this barrel and watch you blow yourself up. Okay, you're on a barrel. Yeah, that's it. Come on, chart. Whoa! That's right, buddy. Come on. Blow yourself up. Take that swing. Stop crouching, Link. Thank you. Okay, they're not force-impacted as much. I'm gonna get you to blow yourself up. That's just how this is going to go down. Come on. Ow. Sit, buddy. Look at me. Right here. Right here. Come on. Come on, blow yourself up already, damn it. All right, that's apparently not how these barrels work. All right, fine. What? Oh, did you drop your sword, buddy? Oh, that's too bad. Cool. I got an upgraded sword for that. I keep using these clubs, though. Ooh, is there... Actually, there's something in here. Oh, Poku Shield. Nice. Attracting a handhold... Or attaching a handhold to a flat tree bark picked up off the ground. Pretty shoddy, so don't expect it to last long. Alright, sword and shield, or club and shield now. Barrels float. That's cool. So what does it take to blow up one of these barrels? I'm assuming fire. Aha! This is where we're supposed to be going. Alright. Screw the barrel. Hidden loot? No. Okay. Let's see what we got. Story progression time! Just, just put it on there, Link. It, 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 you know, square peg, square hole, not very challenging. Your software has been updated. Sheikah Tower activated. Please watch for falling rocks. Oh shit. And Link's dead. Oh yeah, yeah, that's... wow. That's getting some attention. Um... Holy shit. Oh, wow. Well, if Link had any advantage for no one knowing he was awake in the world, he has just lost it. <laughs> and also now we're on top of a really, really tall tower. Great Plateau Tower. Distilling local information. Damn, Hillian technology's advanced. Oh, literally distilling it into a droplet. Wow. Oh, hey, it's how we fill in our map. Okay. Oh, holy shit. That's a detailed map.
All right, regional map extracted. That's actually kind of cool. They planned these so that no matter what time period it was, you'd get an accurate lay of the land. A little bit of radar pinging. That's cool. Try. Try to remember. Yeah, that's Zelda. You have been asleep for the past 100 years. <laughs> the beast. When the beast regains its true power, this world will face its end. Well, hello, Ganon. Nice to see you early. I think he knows we're awake. Now then. You must hurry, Link. Honestly, I think we could have ran without a map in exchange for Before not alerting Ganon. <sighs> All right, follow the Sheikah Slate completed. Um. Oh, looks like I can climb down. All right, cool. So, yeah, so one of the cool things I've heard about this game is basically I can... Let me get my thing out. I can basically just walk over there and I can go fight Ganon right now. We get our ass kicked, but we can do it. Which is one of the cool things. Like, this Zelda is, you know, pretty much just go wherever you want, do whatever you want, in whatever order you want kind of a Zelda. So, definitely looking forward to that. So what we're going to do next episode is we're going to head over to Ganon's castle and take him on with base gear. So leave a like if you guys enjoyed, comment down below, and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more daily one hour plus Breath of the Wild. See you tomorrow.